ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. We are in the Ocean Runner. We are headed out to one net that I set during a tutorial that I set by mistake. But it is a really good fishing area, so we're going to go ahead and grab that net and then maybe set up some more nets in the area and do our first haul. I'm going to try to get a full haul here, get a picture of how many nets we can take so I know what to keep and what not to keep. We're definitely selling off the 75-foot nets uh, and keeping on anything else, but uh, I, there's a haul to grab. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, though? Dang it! I've got the, the machine gutter is not in the ship. I've got the hand gut machine. Frig. So we actually need to take a break here and look at our map. Where are we close to? These have eight hours, so we should be good. We're going to run up to, to Dennis real quick and get a uh, our machine gutter put back in now that I've completed. I was able to complete the tutorial. It wasn't too hard. I just You can also cancel tutorials. If you go into your map and then under missions, you can anytime you want, you can cancel it. So I figured that part out. Uh, but I didn't want to cancel it because it was money and fish. So I went ahead and finished it. And uh, so there we go. We have, let's see, um, what I need to do, we need to go to upgrades. And we're going to do gutting, and we're going to put our machine gutter back in. All right. So we can get off the hand gutter. They just wanted, they made you hand gut a bunch of fish, which is stupid, but anyway, whatever. And unfortunately, let's see, the fastest way out there is probably going to be Woods Harbor Lighthouse. And then we're going to have to head south from there. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and turn our searchlight on. There's a lot of fish around, man. Full speed ahead. Arg. Wow, it is dark tonight. Dark, dark night. Hopefully the moon will come up soon and we'll have some lighting. I'm going to go to the map and we're going to fast travel down. to our nets and how what we got on time 10 hours 11 hours so we'll need to sit out here for a couple hours um once we get there which we're there oh look the sun's come up thank goodness and we're gonna have a busy day of fishing here so we're gonna go ahead and pull up to these and like i suspected the crew does everything for you once you get this all set up so we're going to take a look at our capacity. We have 40,000 kilograms of fish that we can carry. I am going to guesstimate we're going to bring in about four to $500,000, maybe less, but two nets brought me in $100,000, and that was those were the short nets. So I'm interested to see what this catches. If we look at our radar, yeah, there's a ton of fish here. Though I say there's a lot of tuna and uh, um. A lot of tuna, a lot of uh, swordfish, so that's that's not good. They'll chase the other fish off eventually. Come on, back up. Well, whatever. We're <laughs> whatever. We're just gonna sit here for the night. I can make the pirate voice because my wife is asleep. She hates patchy. Okay, so we have. Uh, we need to look first on our map. These are what, eleven hours. So if we wait. Nine hours, that'll make it 20. So I want to do eight hours. We want to do about 19 hours. Okay, I'm going to hop in the driver's seat. And, uh, wow, the day is going to just fly by. And I'm going to go, we're going to bump to the left a little bit while we're waiting. And I'm going to get our crew members ready to pull. So we have Nora and Michael. And they're good at net hauling. So we want them on the, the nets. Actually, it should be vice versa. Michael should really be where Nora is. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I think no. Yeah, I want Nora pulling the net up, and I want Michael um, actually pulling the fish because he's better at that. So this, uh, you just pull up to this little spot here. There you go, and they automatically grab it. You don't even have to press grab, which is really nice. There's a little little dubstep going on while they pull the fish. Do do do. Do 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 do. Turn all these off. So let's go see. He'll look at. I don't want to catch. I'm not gonna mess them up. But look there, the fish are coming in. Ah, good job, guys. They're all done already. 
And so now we should have fish caught. Uh, and so we're going to look at our – hold on. I'm going to get back in here. And we're going to go to our crew menu. And we should see that there's a bunch of fish. So these two could take a rest. And I am going to put Sadie and Emma on the machine gut. Okay, so I was wrong. The other ships only have a single gutter. But you can freeze and stack. And so that's where you get more money. Uh, so we may end up buying one of those, too, once we're done. This ship's going to make us some decent money. So so meanwhile, we're going to do some sonar. I'm going to drive for a little bit. I'm going to get out of this area because there's a lot of swordfish. Now, if we were deep line fishing, that would be a good thing. But this is too shallow for deep line fish, too. I want to see some more regular fish. I don't want to see all swordfish and tuna. There we go. There's some regular fish coming out there. So we're going to slow it back down. I'm going to maybe turn left a little bit and kind of... Yeah, there's a ton of fish under the boat. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our crew out. And I'm going to have... Let's see, Mikhail. Eh, we'll have Nora do it. Get her practice on gear prep. Now, I don't... Not real happy. They used to have symbols underneath that showed you how they were doing but now you got to look up here to see these now they're all pretty doing pretty good but i want her to prepare a 120 line okay and we're going to go ahead and set the net here and my job is to keep the boat straight so we caught about 2000 kilograms of fish not too bad 2900 kilograms looks like And we're just going to let the boat do its thing. Now, you can see, once again, it auto-throttles for you, so that's nice. Nets look like they're in good shape. I don't remember how many nets we bought, but I'm going to put, uh, let's see, if that one caught 2,000, I could put a bunch of them out. Have her prepare the gear. And we're going to check sonar. Still a ton of fish underneath the boat. Move forward a little bit. Because we got to get away from that one. Look at all those fish. Man. Let's do it. Set it. So you figure 3,000 times 10 is 30,000. So I could, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're probably going to need f uh, 10. Let's see. So 14 or 15 nets should do us. And let's see, what is she doing? She's going to work on it. Do a 120 for us. Thank you. And we have more fish going on underneath, so that's good pretty shallow depth there's a fish party going on there's a party going on under my boat let's celebrate it's all right I can't set it for some reason hmm. too close maybe oh and our two gutters are done so let's go ahead and get the gut the gut the gutting girls put away Has she prepped that? Come on, Nora. Nora, what are you doing? Prep the net. It's not as many fish here. It's starting to thin out a little bit. I don't know why she won't set the net. I'm getting a little concerned here. Nora, honey. Set the net. Oh, my God. What is she doing? Come on, Nora. Snap two. Uh, let's see. Um, maybe if I... 
Make her go to sleep for a little bit. <laughs> Take a break, Nora. I don't know. Weird. Like got buggy. Nora, where where did you, we need you now to step up to the plate? Okay. Oh, uh, if you need a job done, do it yourself. I don't know. There's not. A, there's mostly swordfish here, which is not great. We're also getting into deeper water. The fish tend to. I think during the day they go to the shoals. There's a decent amount of fish here, though. But yeah, there's some some tuna. That's not what we wanted. All right, so we're going to swing around here, and I'm going to come back across the shoal. So I don't know. This is looking good here, too. Look at that. Wow. All right. All right, let's get you out there. Nora, let's try again. Uh, I'll make, I'm going to send Sadie out, see how she does. So Sadie, go prepare the gear. Yeah, the deep water kind of... Lots of lobster down there, though. We do need to go lobster fishing with this boat, too. I might... Let's see, so set net. I'm going to wait a minute, because I want to see more fish. I don't... I see a tuna. And maybe one silver hake at the bottom of the lake. fish. I want more. Where are these dang fish? Okay. Why can't I set a net? What? Something got bugged. Listen here, lady. Your job is to set these nets. You're going to miss the fish. Thanks. Throw the line. Because love isn't always on time. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> I think I'm so funny. Uh, it's not in the way you make the move. Oh. That's what happens when you have Mario Brothers as a lead singer. If you guys have ever seen Toad the Toad, watch the, watch the video for one of those. The lead singer for Toto looks like, uh, he looks like Super Mario Brothers. He looks like Mario. Maybe Luigi. Yeah, I can't, so, okay, that, that's working. So let's see, any more fish over here? I think, no, there's no fish over here. Eh, there's one. Low population, arg. I want to get it back up where the I marked that fish because that was where there was a ton. No, oh, there's a bunch here. Okay, all right. So, set that line, lady. Set it. <laughs> God, I don't know what happened. My workers are just. You know what? <laughs> so she's just not doing her job. I don't. She can set it. She's getting the net ready and stuff, which is cool. But she's not throwing it overboard. I need to come out here and actually do it by hand. I don't know why that's happening. Get to the wheel and steer the boat. Oh, yeah, a bunch of fish here. We're going to catch a bunch of fish. We're probably not going to be able to come back here again for a while, though, because we're going to end up over overfishing this area, over harvesting this area. Missed. <laughs> You're useless. It could be that they're making it so that it's, you know, like she has to learn, she has to be a certain tech level before she can actually throw them overboard. 
but it's that's annoying. I know Michael can do it, so maybe I'll chuck him out here on the next one after I'm done doing this because she's actually acting like she's doing it, but she's going to go. All right, Sadie, goodbye. Michael, you try it now. I want him to be well rested. And you can see the fish were starting to get thick right in this area, which is gone now. There we go. Look at all those fish. So this is a good spot. I'm just going to put all my nets out and see what happens. We So we put out 620s. And I just want to see what happens. Look at all those fish. Nope, he won't set it either. Weird and glitchy. Okay. What's the matter with you? Throw the... Smack them on the head. So they get the next one ready for us. That's nice, but that's not exactly what I want them to do. Now, there's not a ton of fish right here. <coughs> I've never put this many nets out in a game. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see if we overcatch. We might, like, right away catch too many fish, but I don't think so. We've got... I hope not. It used to be, like, on the other game, because you knew exactly where to set them. You just throw out, like, three nets, and your, fish, your giant boat would be full. I don't really want that, but we'll see. Will he set it? Nope. <sighs> I think we're running low on nets. Oh, he picked a 75 for some reason, but whatever. All right, you. Get inside. Ugh. All right, come on, dude. I think he's done prepping, so that's good. I picked a 120. Why is it saying set 75? This is not working. That's why I didn't want these stupid 75s on my boat anyway. Thanks, tutorial, for nothing. He's just picking whatever he wants. All right, so we need to take a look at the radar again. No, there's a bunch of fish here still, so we'll just keep going. It's pretty cool stuff. Thank you, sir. All of a sudden, the fish are drying up a little bit here, so I'm going to maybe swing back. Now, there's still a bunch there. Look at that. Let's swing out this way. <laughs> Throw it. Yep, yeah, that one's damaged a little bit. That means there was a mistake, probably me, hauling it in.
damage does happen to these nets, so I don't know. I think we're gonna, my personal opinion is we're going to catch too many fish, but I don't know. We'll see. I like the net fishing because it's simple. It's There's just not a ton to it. Turn around and head this way. And he still can't set. Hmm. I don't know. I probably just need to reload the game. Sometimes there's, there, you know, this game is still fairly new, about a month old. And there are still some bugs, so wow, that net's really damaged. I'm surprised we can still use that. We'll have to get those fixed. We're selling the 75s. We'll buy some more. I think we're going to have 14 nets altogether. And we're going to have them all the same length. Maybe I'll carry 20, though. We'll see. But that damage means the crew's been rough with them. There we go. Another 75. I bought three 75s. How can there be another one? There's no way to drive from the outside either. You always got to walk back out again. But so once again, see, he's supposed to set that. And so it might be the last net. There's one more net. Catch those fishies. Catch those fishies. Yep, and one more to go. Look at all the fish underneath. There's a ton of fish out here, man. That This spot's, like, hopping. Look at that. Oh. Get your net ready. Let's get a big net out there and catch all those fish, man. Hopefully it'll be a big haul right there. That one's only got slight damage. So when we go back into port, we repair all these nets. We're going to sell the 75s and add. I'm going to make it 15 nets total. Depending on this catch. If this catch doesn't fill the boat up all the way, then we'll look at, you know, maybe doing like 20 nets look at all those fish that was a super hot spot right there and we're done so crew guy you can go back in thank you for your help go have a rest and we're going to get closer to those other buoys and stop pause for a little bit. Not pause, but we're going to fast forward time. Shh. I love the fact that we can fast forward time now from inside the boat instead of having to go back to port. That saves on gas, and it also makes the game a lot more realistic, because that's what they do. They go out there and they sit and wait for the nets to, you know, come due or whatever, and then they then they go back in once they have a full boat. So we can just keep fishing and fishing until we're full. There's our buoy. We're going to sail right past it. Yep, right past it. Let's 
Sweet. Sweet jeepers. And we don't want to pull ahead, so we're just going to stop right here. That's good. Okay, so we're going to go set anchor. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward time. Um, I'm going to say 18 hours, right? Just about. It's risky. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. We got in good timing because the other ones are not done yet. So uh, go ahead and get Mikhail's going to go, I think, primary. She's going to go. Nope. I want it the other way around. She's going to go first, and then Mikhail's going to go. I think that's how that works. Let's see how they Let's see how they fold out. That should be the way that I want it. Yep, and she's going to, yep. All right, ladies and gents, snag that thing. Let them pull that net in. Do, 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 do. And hopefully they'll have stamina enough to get all this done. That's what we need. Those are those are a lot of nets to pull. I'm hoping they don't tire out. And these two, we're gonna go ahead and get them gutting. Once that net's pulled. The gutting crew can rest. That's that's you know. If they get tired, it's not a big deal, but they shouldn't get tired, it's a machine gut. They just hang out. We also have food that increases the crew's uh, rest time. This boat's going to get more and more unruly as we fill up. And we will not be able to travel as fast. Wow, this boat's loud. It's got thunder, though. I like that. It's pretty buff yeah I think we're going to be full before we get even close look at that so one net brought in a 10,000 fish <coughs> if that's the case we only need four or five nets if we have a good day So I'd say have 10 on hand, cast 5. What's going to suck is the rest of these nets we're just going to end up pulling because they're not, they're, we're going to have to throw a fish away, which sucks. So this is, those tutorial fish catches were not necessarily representative of the actual fish catches. Yeah, look at that, 16. Yeah, that wasn't as good. So eh, it's going to depend, 16,000. We still, that means we caught 4,000 out of that net. So, yeah, maybe we'll still run 15 nets. Just have them. They're all doing good uh, health-wise, so that's, that's good. I was hoping, I was afraid they were going to get tired, but they're all doing fine. girls are machine gutting so the machine gutter once again helps the crew not to get tired and it also um, works a lot faster than the uh, the regular gutter so does a better job more consistently too most of the guts are you know working away but they're going to get money so they'll be happy I wonder what this little thing is for out back that's probably the restroom <coughs> I 
the captain's chair. All right, folks, so I'm going to finish going here. Oh, wow, 23. Yep, so that was another, let's see, 16 to 23. There's like 7,000 more. Yeah, we're going to be, unfortunately, well, no, it's not a 4,000. We're going to fill up. Is that 28 or 23? It's like 23. we got a lot of catching going on. All right, so I'll get the rest of the lines pulled in until I'm full, and then we'll figure out where we're going. See you guys in a minute. Dang it, that was another 10,000 fish catch. Ooh. And we still got, like, a bunch more nets to pull up. So I really am thinking, like, seven nets at the most. Well, let's look at this. We've got five nets, and we're almost full. So six nets. Seems to be where it is. The six net will be the one that goes over. Five or six will be the one that goes over. The rest of them will not pull in. They'll just, I think, release. Whoa, that was loud. I don't think that was my computer, but maybe it was. It was. It sounded like it was right here on top of my head. All right. I've come out to see how the crew are doing. Arg, these girls are cutting away. These people are catching away. And we're about to be full. Uh, and then we have a stack of fish. Gorgeous, beautiful fish to eat that have been gutted. Another box. Storage is full. Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So uh, we can put these two guys back to rest. And we'll leave the two girls gutting until they get pooped. And then we'll bring those two guys back. But we have reached capacity 399999. So six nets. Uh, was easily it and we had a couple I think we had a 75 in there too so we're going to get 6 10,000 actually I'm going to get I'll probably double that so when lines break we have more but we'll set out 6 every time and that should be enough to catch fish because we don't want to waste fish I don't know how this works if you just toss them back how the game handles that but what's going to end up happening is the, oh I forgot these two can't go back yet because we have to Pull these stinking lines, even though they're. We want to get our lines back. Oh, I can't believe they make us go through the whole. In the old game, you could just skip this. We're gonna have to process each of these nets. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, well. What are you going to do? I mean, I suppose we could leave them out here and just go two hours away and come back. We'll have a less catch, but it'll be a catch nonetheless. I might do that. I think I'm going to do that. We'll run into port, sell what we have gutted, and then come back out and catch the rest, though they're going to be pretty empty. So... But it's just a matter of not wasting. Because this is wasteful and taking a lot of extra time. We're close, I think, to... Yeah, that was 10,000 kilograms right there. Man. Yeah, so six nets max. So these two are going to go to rest. Um, and uh, I think... The, what... <laughs> My wife's messing with me. She's turning lights on from downstairs. She does that frequently. So, unfortunately, those nets are going to be kind of, like, empty when we get back to them. But there's so many of them, I think we'll still have a good catch. So let's see how these guys are doing. Um, the gales, the gorgeous ladies of fishing are still... Um, 
working away, and we still have some catch to put in, so we got to wait till they're done. Uh, the good news is that the game didn't... Some In the other one, when you fast-traveled it, sometimes they wouldn't... I actually think they did continue working, so never mind. But these two are going to have to rest. Let them finish handgunning here. So I'll be back in a minute, guys. So now here's an interesting thing. One of my workers just got too tired to work, and... Uh, it didn't. It didn't show... That was weird. Just said she's too tired to work. What's he doing? Why is he? Why is he not cutting? So anyway, one person was too tired to work. She quit. So she's resting now. But see, I don't. It's not showing me up to date statuses on these people, which I don't. That sucks. Okay, now he's working. So they'll have some time to rest when we go back out. Hopefully enough to do more because we're there's a whole bunch of more fish that need to get done. But we can also wait. It's not a, a huge deal. Um, let's see. Map-wise, we're still okay. We are going to have a reduced catch when we get out there, but it's not going to be horrible. So, And it looks like, are we done? Did, are, did they finish? Nope. 400 kilograms left. Almost finished all the way. And uh, 251. So we're almost finished here. <coughs> and if somebody gets pooped and they have to go rest, you can give them a meal. And that'll help them recover faster. But I'm not. For some reason, it's not. What? Oh, now Nora was too tired. What? I don't understand. Info. Let's see. Emma's fine. That's really bizarre. That must be bugged. Because Sadie's tired. If I put Sadie in... And Michael in. Does he should she eat a meal? Yeah, okay, these two need to eat. I must have had Nora on gutting. I what? Hmm. Weird. Okay, anyway, we're gonna enter port, so that's all taken care of. And we're going to enter the port, which is we need to back up a little bit because we've moved off. And so we're going to back up here, and uh, we're going to dock at Dennis Point. And hold on a second. So I'm going to sell my fish at Dennis Point, and we've got them. Oh, ho, ho. so yeah, so about $400,000. That's excellent. That is really good sales revenue, and that is the max that we can sell. And we didn't really even look for pricing, I think. But these are all very good prices, so we did get the best price. So we need to keep an eye out on that, because right now the prices are good here. But... Yeah, so already this boat's uh, paid for half of its cost, you know. So that's really good stuff. All right, I'm going to run back out and grab the rest of those nets, but uh, I think, well, let's see what else we brought in. I, I'm interested to see what happens with that. So I'm going to get back out there. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so um, let's see. We are, I need to look for my buoys. There they are. Oh, we need to fast travel around going down to number eight and unfortunately once again they've gone green which means that they're no longer going to be full so we will not get nearly as many fish from this catch and we're going to take a look at who's available it sucks that Nora got burned out because I need her to be full health she's full health okay good so we want Nora and Michael they're on the net hall. The gutting girls can rest for a little bit. I'll wait till we catch the rest of the fish, and then they can start gutting. Actually, they'll start gutting when we do it, because I think they probably are full rest, too. Emma's got 100% rest, yeah. Wow, she has a lot of health. And actually, uh, Sadie has a decent amount of health, too, so... I don't know what happened there. I must have mistakenly put Nora onto fish gutting, which that stinks, because that means... It doesn't matter, though. We still got a great catch, so... But uh, we're going to have a bunch of nets that we're going to have to sell and repair. And once again, I don't think we're going to get a full haul. We're picking up, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6 nets. And a lot of them, a lot of these are the shorter nets. So I don't, like I said, I don't think we're, we're going to have like a half haul. But we could stay out and finish it up too. That's the other great thing. You could just, you know, well, if that's the case, wait a little bit and throw some more nets out. And do it that way. Hi, Alfie. 
All right, so I'm going to let these guys do their work. And we will be back. So as expected, these halls are not nearly as spectacular as the first set uh, because these lines have been... Once you go past the blue, which is the peak time to catch, you start to lose fish, and we've lost a fair amount because we were only up to 6,000 liters. I think I'm probably just going to go back into port, though, when we're done because it'll still be, you know, $100,000 maybe. Uh, and eh, maybe not that. We'll see. Uh, but close to $100,000. And we will get the boat uh, refueled and get the lines set uh, sorted out because right now they're kind of a mess. I don't know what's what, who's coming or going. And we've got all these freaking lines. We need to get down to, I'm going to say seven or eight lines. I think I'm going to carry eight. We're going to put out six. The reason I'm carrying eight is because as the crew damages the lines bringing them in, uh, I want them to be, uh, um, uh, I want to be have extra nets available so we can throw six. And if we need to throw a, a second set, we can throw them without having to repair them. So, All right, guys, so I'm going to finish catching here, and I will be back. All right, we're coming up on the final line. Let's see how we do. The last line was, says it was too damaged to uh, fully haul, so that one's done for. But that's what happens when you fish. The nets get broken. Now, once again, as the crew gets better, that will not be happening quite as much. So just know that you can have a good life and no damage nets. There we go. So 11,000 was the catch. But honestly, that's not bad. It's really not that bad. He's doing okay. Nora's resting. Nora needs more energy. She's really weak. Uh, these girls are doing all right. They're getting 1,100 fish an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my way back up to Dennis Point. I'm not even going to fast travel. I'm just going to boat there because there's no point in rushing. Um, what is that? Is there a ship coming out? Looks like a... What is that? Oh, no, it's the lighthouse. It looked like a ship from back here. I was like, whoa. There's a big one coming out. We do see that occasionally. Large ship, Large vessels leaving the area. It's one of the things I like about this game is the, the movement of the uh, other vessels. I need to see, take a look at our map. Let's see if we're heading towards Dennis. Are we heading towards... Whoa. I don't know where Dennis Point is. I need to see. Are we heading the right way? We need to head straight north. So there we go. going to be in that area over there. That's the lighthouse we can fast travel to. Once again, the reason why I'm not fast traveling is I'm giving the girls some time to finish getting those fish. So I'm going to head up there, guys, and I will see you in a little bit. I'm going to guesstimate once again, maybe 11000 I'm sorry, $100,000 from this catch. Maybe less. We'll see. But we we got our nets back and that's the important thing so uh, unfortunately we just didn't because it took so long to drop the other fish off and gut them by the time we got out the, the nets had started emptying out so alright guys I'll see you in a minute Ark alright the ladies of the gorgeous ladies of gutting have uh, finished up gutting the 11,000 kilograms of fish that we have on board and we are going to head to Yarmouth because Yarmouth is where the prices are best right now. Well, not best, but they're better than Dennis Point. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel there and let's go ahead and sell these fish off and we'll call it a night. Uh, I am going to convert the boat over to crab fishing right now, though we're not really in season. I do want to do some crab fishing. Well, lobster fishing. So let's see how much we made. Yeah, we'd like to sell our fish in Yarmouth. Eh, 111,000 like I predicted. That is good. So this ship has the capability of bringing in $400,000 with a full load. Um, that should be pretty easy to get. Oh, yeah, we also need to do this. Um, we'll go to the town, I think, fish market? Fishing gear. We need to sell nets. Um, we're going to do... Um, I want six. I got one. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got 
We're going to sell all of those. I have 1375s. What? How did I? G <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I want to sell three. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I was going to keep eight, wasn't I? Oh, I'm such a yutz. Oh, well. Buy two. All right, so that we have eight total. That's all we need. We're going to repair the nets. Oh, God, some of these are really bad. They kept... They don't let you pick which ones you sell. We should have probably just sold them all and lottery bought them. Okay, so the nets are all repaired. We got to remember each time we come in, there's a lot to do. We got to fill up with fuel, repair the boat. You can actually get your crew members to fix the boat, so you don't have to do that. Uh, but hey, 1.15 million dollars just from doing fishing with the nets. Hey, we started with four, 400 thousand ish, roughly. So we've made almost uh, almost a million dollars in just one fishing trip. Uh, though that was a long. Uh, well, no, we made, I'm sorry, $500,000 total. <laughs> Still, not bad. Uh, and there's many other things we can do with this boat. I probably will run it as a net fisher for a little while. And then when I switch it over to lobster, I'll come back and we can all conven reconvene for the next video. And I'll show you lobster fishing in the Ocean Runner. But since I have a currently rigged like this, I'm going to run it like this for a little bit. So have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice up, and we'll see you next time. Bye.